yes. won that race. Uh, let's head out to the track and say hello to last week's winner, Ty Gibbs, who joins us now. Hey, Ty, um, thank you for taking a few moments. Congratulations on the win. And we are going to talk about the victory, right? But we also have to talk about what happened with Ryan Sieg and where that is right now. Um, what conversations have you had with him or, or anyone else just about how to deal with this and move past it? Yeah, for sure. You know, I've uh, had a lot of help from my crew chief, but it's funny to hear everybody talking about, you know, oh, it's going to be such a big deal, but nobody's talked to me at all, you know, about what happened the whole week, you know. So we talked and, you know, we talked it over and I apologized to him and he apologized to me. You know, I told him everything I've said to, you know, everybody. It was my fault and I made the wrong decision. You know, my, it was not my intention, so, but, you know, we're, I feel like we got a, you know, pretty good uh, Sport Clips uh, Toyota GR Super today and hopefully we can do something with it. Well, Ty, the good news is is that you guys will get to talk again <laughs> later today because you get to ride in the truck together. It seems like that has happened to everybody at some point in their career where you have a little issue and then the next week you get to be in the truck together. I heard you just mention that you've talked to your crew chief, and I know that you've had a lot of success early um, and you've had some struggles. Who is the guy or the person at Joe Gibbs Racing, whether it's a driver, your crew chief, uh, a manager that you go to when things aren't going well uh, that you can lean on for a little bit of advice? Uh, I feel like the first and most important one is God. You know, he's my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I go to him, and uh, I got great people around me. Uh, you know, I got Chris Gale. I got my grandfather. I've got my dad. They've all been through some crazy experiences, and they've been through so many in life. So, uh, you know, I've got great people to lean off of, and I'm very thankful and blessed for that, you know, to have that second voice and, you know, to just, you know, kind of bounce stuff off. And I feel like it helps me feel better and help me understand stuff. I feel like I'm, I'm very thankful for these guys. Yeah, Ty, that's an awesome attitude. Ty, you're 19 years old, and Toyota Racing Development President David Wilson said recently that this is a critical year for you. Yeah, competing for wins, but most notably, making sure your goals are in order to go out and compete for this championship. That's a lot of pressure. How does that make you feel? I think it makes the other kids feel like they got a lot of pressure on them. So I feel like, you know, I got a lot of pressure on me week after week, but I feel like, you know, I'm doing as best as I can. Uh, you know, there's, you know, a lot of support that comes from us, from Toyota. that helps us week in and week out. And I feel like if we didn't have our simulator, we wouldn't be as good as we would on loading up the racetrack. So, you know, we, we wouldn't be here with Toyota and we wouldn't be, you know, where we're at with Toyota. So, you know, they helped us so much. Monster Energy, I feel like everybody kind of helped me keep in the right, in the right, place kind of keep my head focused and you know going out here and winning and, and and getting in the race car is the most fun part but learn how to do stuff off track and learn how to do interviews i feel like that's a new thing i'm learning and, and um i feel like that's the, the new hardest hardest part of this racing deal <laughs> yeah, well unfortunately those those interviews the last couple weeks or last week have been tough uh, because of having a little bit of controversy but i think you've done a great job with that so we're at Phoenix. We know that uh, the championship's going to be decided here uh, when we come back in November. So do you view this race differently today, uh, knowing that the championship will be held, held here, or is it just another race for you? I feel like, you know, there's definitely that little bit more of an edge to to focus on this racetrack because you know if i can make it back in the final four here i feel like just to focus and and to learn this racetrack just to that another level would help me when we fire back off here in phoenix if we make it uh, i feel like you know it's two different temperature conditions so it's kind of hard to really translate but you know just your lines just to kind of get that extra visual you know how everybody kind of gets that so just got to pay a little bit more attention than i would even though I still pay attention, but. <laughs> I, I bet you do. So, Ty Phoenix International Raceway, three wins in the Arkham Menard Series. You rolled in there last year. You made your first Xfinity Series start there, and you finished second. What is it about that one-mile track that just falls in your wheelhouse? Uh, you know, I feel like it's such a, I feel like it's it's a driver's track. I feel like Phoenix is one of my favorite racetracks I've ever raced on. I really love it. I love the scenery. I think it's, you know, one of the coolest racetracks on the schedule for that. You know, we got the mountains in the background. But also, I feel like with the dog leg, I think it adds just a little bit more of a, more craziness in the race. Um, you know, I feel like it's, it's a driver's track, too. So kind of moving around, I really like that. I feel like it's a little bit of a dirt track, but you know, it's a little bit of a road course. So you kind of get the whole mix in one and run race. So I think that it's really cool, especially for drivers and, and for these crew guys getting the setups right. You know, you got two different, complete different corners. So uh, I, I really love Phoenix. Ty, I know you said that you are uh, working on your interview skills. A, a plus for the way that you've managed to hold that Monster Energy can <laughs> right you. in the shot the entire time. Thank you. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Have a great time out there today. Good luck uh, working on that second one of the year. Thank you, guys. Hey, if you guys want any Monster, always reach out to me, too. I can hook you guys up.
<laughs> yeah, Jamie will be like, Shannon no needs, monster no for Shannon. No, 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 <laughs> Shannon for sure. Good luck out there, Ty. <laughs> okay, that's so great. I mean, it was like literally my arm would be like this. Um, what's the value 